All right. If you look at if you've ever done chemistry, and I'm I'm a I was a master chemist in school. When you boil fluoridated water, the fluoride now the molecules change into fluorine, mm -hmm. which is a more potent, more toxic neurotoxin. Wow. So the more water you boil and drink, the more neurotoxins you put into your body. What? I can't just oh. Uh. This dude is wild. I don't know what he thinks he's talking about, but he's wrong. If you boil fluorinated tap water, you're not going to make fluorine gas. I promise you. So first, what is fluorinated water? Back in the 1940s, it was figured out that places that had a little extra fluoride in their water had lower instances of tooth decay in children. And some pilot studies that may not have been that great were done. And it was decided that let's just do this everywhere because it seems like it's a great idea. And at the time, yeah, it worked, you know, so now we continue doing it. Although there's debate as to whether or not we need to continue doing it because there's fluoride in most of our dental products now. So fluoride is not fluorine. Fluoride is when you have a single atom of the fluorine element negatively charged as an ion in solution. Fluorine is the gas, the pure nature of the element. And fluorine gas is like chlorine gas. It's very toxic, it's very reactive, it's very dangerous. It's also really hard to make and you're not gonna make it from boiling water that just has fluoride salts dissolved in it. That's not how chemistry works. Creating fluorine gas is really hard. It actually claimed the lives of several chemists trying to figure out how this element worked back in the 1800s. Incidentally, the way that we do make it uses electrochemistry where we take a mixture of hydrofluoric acid, which if you remember from Breaking Bad, it dissolves bodies, and potassium fluoride, and we run an electric current through it, and this produces fluorine gas that is very carefully extracted because it's super, super dangerous <laughs> and has a few industrial uses like making Teflon and various other chemical reagents that we need for things. But again, it's not coming out of the pot of boiling water, boiling tap water on your stove. I promise you that's not a thing. But please, if your municipality or whoever is responsible for your drinking water is telling you to boil it, boil it. It's not going to make it worse. It may not make it that much better because boiling only removes biological contaminants. It doesn't necessarily remove chemical contaminants in that way. But please boil your water. It's not going to make it unsafe. So I hope that this reached somebody and helped to disprove some of whatever madness this person is saying, because this is just crazy to me. But until next time, this is Kim Thug.